Hi, this is Michelle with Michelle Bells Gaming. Welcome back. Um, if you haven't seen yet, I have a podcast, and there's a link to that in the description. But today, I want to try and teach you really quickly how to clean floppy disks. So we're going to use five and a quarter inch floppy disks, and these are a lot easier to clean than the three and a half inch uh, because you don't have a shutter to deal with. Uh, with the three and a half inch, you should just open the shutter and then tape it down. Just put some tape on the other side to, to keep it open. But even so, uh, these are easier. So this is a copy of Ease 3 that I just got in the mail. Um, and it has some bad mold damage here. So you can see here, you can kind of see there's a big mold spot there. Okay, so how do you clean that? Because if you don't clean it, it's going to cause problems when you're trying to read the game and could even damage your drive. So here's my method. I have two Q-tips, okay? And I have a tissue. And the tissue is to just put kind of underneath. So this side I've already cleaned here. So I just put this on top so that when you push down, it has a nice soft surface to push down against. Okay. One of these Q-tips, you're going to need a little bit of soap. Okay. And I'm using just plain old dish soap. And what I usually do is I just put it kind of like right in the top and just let like just kind of like a drop of it get in there. And maybe like a drop of water just from the sink, just like one drop of water, not a lot. You don't want it like soaking. See, like that's good. Okay. The other Q-tip, you're going to use alcohol. So here's some alcohol. And actually, I'm a little bit low, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more on here. You only nearly need one side. On the Q-tip, the way I do it to be uh, kind of uh, convenient is I have... One, that might not have reached all the way in there. Let's see. No. Here, I'm going to have to... This is hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to have to pour some into this cap here if I can. There we go. That's good enough. Okay. So anyway, one side you're going to put your... Uh, you're going to put your um, soap, and one side you're going to put your alcohol. And leave the other side dry. Okay. And that's for wiping stuff up. So just a little bit of alcohol on there. That's good. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your mold spot and you're going to clean it lightly with your soap. And uh, you, you don't need to do a whole lot here. You just want to kind of get that debris, that mold debris off of there. And so a good one or two over should do it. It uh, doesn't have to be hard. Don't press down really hard. Don't bear down. You don't want to damage the layer of, of film over the metal oxide. If you use the alcohol only, you can damage the, the plastic. It, it's abrasive. Uh, so I use the soap first. So let's get this in here. And uh, it's important to try, if you can, to not get any of the soap underneath the, the sleeve, like in, in, up, up in here, up in there. So there's our alcohol, I mean, our uh, soap on there. Then I'm going to wipe it down. And you can see we've got a residue here. And also, if you look, we've got a bunch of orange that just came off. That's from the mold. Now we take the alcohol part and we go over our residue with the alcohol. And it will clean up the residue and the alcohol will evaporate very easily. And if you want to, you can go over it with the dry side. You can do the same thing with the... Uh, with the soap, you can do soap, then dry it off a little bit, then clean the residue, then dry it off a little bit more. But generally speaking, unless you've got way, way, way too much alcohol on there, the alcohol will dry up on its own. It evaporates very quickly. And that's why you want to use the alcohol to clean the residue because you don't want to get any water under here or under here, you know, in, in, in the inside of the disc because there is a thin layer of uh, kind of a, a cloth material underneath here and that can get mold really easily so you don't want that to get any sort of moisture in there if you can't avoid it. So then once you're done with that spot you will just take the disc and rotate it to the next spot and clean that the same way. And that's how you clean a floppy disk. Uh, if this doesn't work for you or if you get you know errors or if it uh, you know it causes damage I would say just be careful um, of course, this is not guaranteed 100% to work. This is a really difficult thing when you're doing mold on such old discs like this. 
And if it's really, really bad, it can cause problems. But I've found that using the soap first and then the alcohol is much, much, much better than just using alcohol by itself, as long as you don't get moisture under here. Okay, this has been Michelle Bells Gaming, and uh, please check out my podcast, Doors and Dungeons Podcast. We talk about retro gaming, we talk about PC98 and MSX and other things, and I hope you will enjoy it. If you're a follower of me, you should enjoy the podcast. Okay, goodbye.